do you choose what to eat? Most people don't realize how big of an influence government policy has over the food they buy and consume. Rent-seeking, lobbying, and regulatory barriers all change the way food is produced and sold throughout American refrigerators and American stomachs. Rent-seeking occurs when private individuals use politics, not for the public welfare, but to obtain personal benefits. But the benefits are concentrated to only those individuals within the special interest group. Take corn subsidies for one example. The government takes tax dollars from everyone and gives it to a smaller group of corn farmers. The costs to you or me are small, but the benefits received by corn growers are large. Since 1995, the government has given $73.8 billion to corn growers, while the average household pays around $400 for food subsidies in a year. So how does this affect the food I choose to eat? With corn subsidies, the price of foods containing corn is lower than it would be without the subsidy. Thus, people are willing to eat more of it. Because farmers can benefit so much from corn subsidies, they are willing to spend effort and real resources to get politicians and policymakers to support subsidies. Regulations can act as barriers to entry as smaller, newer businesses have more difficulty affording the cost of regulation. A good example is regulation that certifies food as organic. Don't these regulations help small farmers? Unfortunately, no. Buying organic has become a billion dollar industry. Big businesses have lots of resources to invest time and money to make sure they benefit from and comply with organic certification. Small farmers, on the other hand, have a harder time affording the monetary costs, the paperwork, and the bureaucracy of compliance. Regulations are small costs to big farmers, but big costs to small growers. So the general market for organic food is more dominated by large industrial farms and fewer local producers than it would be without regulation. Many factors manipulate the market for food. Prices are distorted because of subsidies, and regulation impedes competition. With so many unintended consequences, is government the best way to promote food quality, health, and nutrition? I say no. A freer market without distortions would allow consumers to buy cheaper, healthier food. Oh,